In this video I want to make phenylhydrazine hydrochloride. Phenylhydrazine hydrochloride can be used for official indole synthesis. It's still the biggest industrial method for producing indoles. The indoles can be used for pharmaceuticals and dyes. I will use the phenylhydrazine hydrochloride in a future video to produce scatol. First to a flask there was added 18 milliliters of distilled water as a solvent. Then I'll add 32 milliliters of concentrated hydrochloric acid. Then 4.3 milliliters of aniline are added to the flask. It's important to add the aniline slow because it's producing a lot of heat. When the aniline is added, it reacts with the hydrochloric acid to form aniline hydrochloride. Now we will add a solution of sodium nitride into addition funnel and let it drip into the reaction mixture very slowly. It's important to hold the reaction mixture at 0 to 5 degrees Celsius. When the sodium nitride solution is added, it reacts with the aniline hydrochloride to produce a diazonium salt of aniline. It's important to keep the reaction between 0 and 5 degrees Celsius because it's very heat sensitive. After the reaction, the addition funnel was removed and the reaction mixture was stirred at 0 degrees for 1 hour. After this, 50 ml of a 2 molar stannous chloride solution are added into an addition funnel. It's important that the addition of the stannous chloride solution is slow and the temperature is maintained between 0 and 5 degrees Celsius. The stannous chloride solution reacts with the diazonium salt of aniline to form the insoluble phenylhydrazine hydrochloride. After this reaction I shake the flask a bit and you can see the insoluble phenylhydrazine hydrochloride. The phenylhydrazine hydrochloride will be filtered in my vacuum filter and then will be washed two times with some additional hydrochloric acid. Phenylhydrazine hydrochloride was dried in a vacuum chamber and I got a final yield of 10 grams. The theoretical yield was 7.4 grams, but this is probably because there is still some water in it. If you liked today's video, please tell me in the comments or subscribe and also check out Yam Chemist and Salt and Peroxide. I will link them in the description.